I'm Anita from Global Baby and someone messaged me asking if I could do a demo video between the Mutsi Igo and the Bugaboo Chameleon. So here we go, this is it. The first thing that you notice is that the wheels on the Igo are a little bit larger at the front so that's going to make it a little bit better if you're going over bumpy terrain like maybe grass or cobbles or things. However, with both of them you can lock the wheels. With the Igo, just turn the front like that and now those wheels are locked and with the Chameleon, you've got to pull it so that the wheels are facing the other way and this little white bit on the inside, push that up Next thing is let's look at the wheelbase, so the distance between the back wheels and the front wheels. Maybe the Igo is like slightly shorter, but a couple of centimetres, not much. Both of them you'll find that makes them really easy to manoeuvre in small spaces like cafes, shops, around town, that sort of thing, which is great. I think that the Igo, the baby, is quite a bit higher when you're in the carry pot mode. Both of them you can put the hood up and down. The chameleon you've got this bumper bar on the carry pot mode, although I notice a lot of people take that off and you don't have that on the iGo. Now the handlebars, you've got quite a big range there with the chameleon. It's a chameleon 3 by the way. I think it's higher on the chameleon. And then it's also lower on the chameleon. The brakes on the Motsi are just here by the foot. And then on the Bagaboo, it's a handbrake. This one here, I've got the Bagaboo Special Edition Kite. A normal Bagaboo will be black at the bottom part of the carry pot and the bottom of the seat will be black and the basket will be black and then you'll choose the colour for your hood and apron and it's mostly primary colours red, blue, yellow and then there's also a grey melange and a couple of other pink. Now a big difference is that with your bugaboo everything comes in one box and the frame of the carry pot is the frame of the seat. But then with the bag of, uh, with the Mutsi, sorry, you're going to get three boxes, the seat, the frame and the carry pot. And you get a completely separate carry pot and seat. That means that like one day you might go out in the morning and you might use the carry pot because it might be baby sleep time and then in the afternoon you might use the seat. But with the carry with the Bugaboo, you need to do a little bit of changing around. So I will show you how we do that now. As you can see that's a little bit of an ordeal but it probably in reality was like a two or three minute job it's not that bad but I do find that you're less likely to do it like maybe you will just be using the carry pot and then one day you'll decide now I'm going to start using the seat and then you use the seat and you won't go back to the carry pot now 
now let's look at the seats. Both of them you can have this, uh, the baby facing you, which is something that we always advocate for here at Global Baby. And you can turn them around, kind of when you're ready or when they want to see the world instead of you. Probably they just want to look at you, right? Uh, but a nice thing that I like about the Mutsi is this ergonomic recline. When they're lying down, the seat is completely flat. With the bugaboo, hopefully you can see from there. So this is a seated position, and it's sorry. This is the upright position, and then you're just pressing on these white circles here, and this is the recline. When the baby's lying down, they're still kind of in a seated position, but they're kind of lying back. But lots of babies don't mind, they sleep perfectly fine in there. With my daughter, I had a bugaboo chameleon, and then I moved to a Mutsi Igo, and now with my new baby, I'm going, I've just bought a carry pot, so I'm going to have the Mutsi Igo. So I'm speaking a little bit from experience. I will show you how we turn around the seats. With the, back, uh, with the Mutsi Igo, there's an extra step here. So you've got to press this button, turn this little thingy around to turn the seat the other way. And you've got the toddler footrest there. With the bugaboo, it's really easy, just one step. So you're pressing on these white rectangles, turn it around. And they are going to use the, the footrest that's attached to the seat. They both have really generous hoods. Oh. Whoa. Actually, I think I might say that the bugaboo hood is a bit more generous. used to put it in the car like that and I had a small Holden Astra at the time fits in there no problem at all with the back uh, with the Mutsi you can fold it with or without the seat but with the seat only when the seats facing away so the handle at the back of the seat flip it over fold then fold Or if you're using it in facing you mode, you might put it in like that. Let's look at the adapters. If you have a 
another capsule like a Maxi Cozy, Be Safe, Nuna, Mountain Buggy, um, Kitty, Cybex, then you can use the adapters. That's just the Maxi Cozy adapters, but they'll fit all those other brands. Those are $39. Maxi Cozy adapters that come with the bug, well, that you can purchase separately if you have a bugaboo. So this is the bugaboo chameleon ones. And to be fair, let's use the same capsule. Let's use a Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix capsule. That's one of the biggest selling capsules in the world. Did not take too long and I will show you that you can just put that on the floor like that so maybe if you go to someone's house to for a barbecue or whatever and the baby needs to go to sleep you can put them to sleep in there it's not approved for overnight sleeps but for naps fine it's supported it's fine now with the Mutsi, obviously it's a hard sided carry pot, so that's no problem at all. Ah, I forgot to show you guys that. Another question that I get asked a lot about the chameleon especially is whether it will be okay walking off road because of the smaller wheels. Like for the footpath, for grass, like these are from Holland. So in Amsterdam, you can't walk anywhere without seeing a bugaboo chameleon. Seriously, everyone is pushing one of these around, around Amsterdam and the whole place is cobblestones and it's absolutely fine. I don't think that you would have a problem pushing it most places. People often ask about the beach, pushing it on the beach. In my opinion, it's never that good to take a stroller on the beach because the salt water destroys everything and sand gets everywhere. You're going to get sand in the wheels, even if it's a specific off-road stroller, the beach isn't going to be the best thing for it. For that, I just recommend putting the baby in a backpack, front pack, whatever. About the warranties with the Bugaboo, you get a three-year warranty, but you've got to register online. With the Moxie, you get a two-year warranty. Another question people ask sometimes is about the red brake. Why is the brake red? That's to do with the Australian safety standard. And because we import these from Australia, that's how you tell. If a bugaboo has a white brake, then it will be imported not through, a, what's the word, an official retailer. For the maximum weight that the stroller can handle, the bugaboo can take a 17 kg child and the Mutsi Igo can take a 15 kg child. That said, they sell the Mutsi in the US and they say 20 kg and it's the exact same stroller. But we are importing ours through the European, so we, we go with 15. So there we go, that's our comparison between the Bugaboo Chameleon 3 and the Mutsi Igo. I hope you found it helpful and feel free to look at our website or come in store and try them out.